Hey, let's do problem numero ocho. Assign some oxidation numbers. Zero. Oh man, that's my only easy one here. That's my only element that's by itself. Then it gets a little trickier. All right, so let's take a closer look at HNO3, nitric acid. Again, it's an order of priority thing here. Hydrogen is where we're gonna start. It will get an oxidation number of plus one. Next comes oxygen. It'll get an oxidation number of minus two. Remember, there are three oxygens, each with an oxidation number of minus two. There's one hydrogen with a plus one, therefore nitrogen must be plus five in nitric acid. Hop, skip over to tin four oxide, oxygen minus two. Tin plus four. I love the ionic compounds, super easy. It's just the charges of their ions. And then we come over to nitrogen dioxide. Again, it's a priority thing, oxygen before nitrogen, minus two which means nitrogen must be plus four. And then finally, agua. Again, priority means hydrogen comes first, plus one here, negative two here. Okay, so as we scan our equation and the oxidation states that we have assigned, we need to determine which of those things has been oxidized or lost electrons. In this case, our tin goes from an oxidation state of zero to an oxidation state of plus four. Tin is our winner here. It has lost four electrons. Now, who has gained electrons? Our good friend, nitrogen. So our nitrogen in the HNO3. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, nitrogen only goes from a plus five to a plus four, which means it only gained one electron. But tin lost four of them. How is this possible? Well, notice our coefficients of four. So for each one tin that loses four electrons, Four ends will each gain one. Thrilling, I know.